From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome. I'm Chris Hansen alongside Joe Stapleton. It's Poker Night in America, and we're here at the Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. When are we not here? Seriously, I had all my mail forwarded to one Seminole Way, Hollywood, Florida. Ooh, 20% off BB and B. Gonna hold on to that bad boy. Uh, as is tradition here at the Hard Rock, we have another loaded lineup full of your favorite players, oh. including Phil Locke, Sean D, Frank Casella, and Doug Polk. And we'd also like to welcome back Wendy Neolis. We're playing 2550, and the optional straddle is always on. Most of the table is in for a normal amount, with the exception of Doug Polk, who bought in enough to cover the table and then some. <laughs> What am I supposed to do there? And Thanks. here is Sean Deeb. If you've never watched Sean Deeb play poker, it is very entertaining. If I can put in an order tonight, I would like some Doug Polk v. Sean Deeb action if we can cool. get it. Frank uh, loves I'm the fold. Yeah, That's I can why tell. he shows up, to make the tough folding decisions. Exactly. First hand of the night, straddle was already on. Would have been, it would have been a party. Doug, I've seen you fold two hands, and I've been told it's not part of your repertoire. He doesn't know well, what repertoire people means. People tend to embellish <laughs> things. I actually folded. Deeb started the betting, and he's going to continue here. 400 on the flop. <laughs> Does America, Wendine, speak English? <laughs> we played a lot of here with your repertoire. We did. We did. Gross. Freeman calls, and Ace comes on the turn, also and another club. Someone calling every raise I made. <laughs> I raised and you're like, oh, what you is that? This seat. Oh, I have two cards yes. again? All right, I'll take a flop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck in that seat. <laughs> he did it to me all day yesterday and the day before. Good luck in that seat. Uh, Avi Friedman I drawing can't dead. He the last hand. This is his natural state. He really enjoys being in this spot. Look at him. Avi likes to play hands that are suited. Avi okay. likes to play hands where he's drawing. Or can dead. make quads. Or connected. Or not connected. Or queen. <laughs> or not suited. <laughs> <laughs> it was you and Sean. Really, it was the Sean. couple cards and um, like... <laughs> If he has a couple cards, yeah. Never once have I seen you play when you didn't have two cards, though. <laughs> or super stud. Yeah. Or super stud. That's actually fair. Sorry, Sean enough. Deeb misses his flush draw. Can you believe it? I know. I like, mean, what's a poor guy to do? How bad does he run? I mean, he's just got a bet now with two pair. No uh, big deal. Oh. The viewers heard about Quick it. call from yeah. Avi. On. The list. All right. Yeah. Three Think tables. Three tables. Who is? Oh, you can't win if you have. Trying to slow roll. Oh well, I guess I. With a hand that cannot win. A little too close to the sun there, Avi. Doug Polk with the Icarus and Bellerophon <laughs> reference. I'm sure he knows that's what he was referencing. Soundly, I mean, like, you know. Yes. Not just beat. You're have I mentioned yet this player. episode how much I Sound love right. Phil Locke? <laughs> like, yeah, totally ended before bloodied. it started. Well, here you go. You get to watch your guy. Bloodied. I'll go with bloodied, because that's, uh, that's good. I like bloodied. I was bloodied. I had no sense of I couldn't do anything. I was always very quickly on the hand. I had almost no chances. Oh, I thought he was Four talking about that RV accident. All right. So we got four players here. Yeah, I'm in there. I've been playing tape today. Quiet. You have to. Eolus ahead pre-flop with nines. And ahead post-flop with nines. 800. Phil Locke C-betting. And I don't really see anyone folding. Not on this show, not on my watch. Seriously, not on my watch, it's a Rolex. Okay, it's not a Rolex. I don't have a watch. <laughs> All right, Schwartz calls. I think I have the worst here. Eolus calls. Well, she put out one. What do you Lock think? with the middle pair, Schwartz with the draws. Let's see what happens on the turn. You'd like to fold as well. There's one of the cards that Schwartz needed for a running flush. One of the biggest things. Well, okay. It's an overcard for the pocket nines of Wendine. 1,500. Hey, she's going to bet it anyway. Love this bet. Going to charge Schwartz to draw like luggage on a discount airline. What used to be free is now going to cost you. He's so rattled right now. Oh, he's doing a Fred Flintstone oh out God, there. Oh, my God. He's got to be so rattled. <clears throat> I understand the callback to the... Um, conversational line that starts with, yeah, we're getting back to 
Just oh, and Schwartz just pulls the Olitz a carry on, gate check it for free. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Kind of lost the minute for there. There's a lot of people that are watching this are like, huh? Like, it's so, you have to be woven into the thing. Yeah, yeah. Facing it. Will the airline relent? And you also have to throw in him saying, I live for the movement of my chips to see that face. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to let it go. Or whatever. She really committed a bunch of chips like with that, that bet. The reader knows what's going on. And then having to fold really has to hurt. Schwartz did have 35% equity headed to the river. Not nothing. <laughs> we'll come back to South Florida when we return next on Poker Night in America. How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. Welcome back to Poker Night in America here at the Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. It's sweaty out there. Let's keep things in here. Uh, I've moved around a lot, so I'm not really from anywhere specific, but I would say Southern California and like Las Vegas is where I'm from, basically. You know, I prefer not knowing the Doug Polk origin story. Kind of like the Joker. It's better if I just I so have it be a mystery. People who come from California, if they can live in Las Vegas. Um, they might be in California, but... Yeah, the, the taxes in California. Yeah. Oh, really. what? Really? California really is the greatest people. country in the world, and I have an $85 tank of gas in my car to prove it. I've been around a lot as a kid, and then I've lived the last, like, decade in Vegas, basically. Who are you, and what did you do with Avi? I want to make was sure it's interesting. Yeah, you, know that, you know there's only this many, right? Yeah. Okay. I yeah, where did Avi go? The slip. Where, yeah, where, where's Avi? <laughs> Oh, oh, sure. He appears, it's interesting if you know, one of us hits the flop. I'm, I'm, I'm Freeman raises with 8-6 of diamonds. Really? Made everyone go for yeah, 450. We got two callers. Yes, yes, I did. Flops do 6 queen. I was there. Top pair for Doug. Second pair for Avi. All right, let's go ahead and see the turn. Casella does have a pair, and it's not bottom pair. <clears throat> they should award poker winnings based on the amount of love you have for the game. Avi picks up a diamond draw to go with his pair. Doug with two pair now. Should be quite the easy call for him. Or, yeah, how about a raise to 3,600? Certainly an understandable spot to raise. There's lots to connect with on this board. You got Broadway cards, you got flush draws, you got straight cards. I'm all in. I'm all in on the call. Guys, look at this. You guys, have, you guys get hands you like, huh? That's what happens to you guys. Probably the worst diamond for Avi to hit on the turn. They're going to run it twice. Winner of each run out gets half the pot. Freeman misses the first one. And, oh, he finds a diamond, but it happens to be the queen of diamonds on the river. Actually, yes, that was the worst diamond. Straddles on once again. This time it's Jake Schwartz who will put in 100 blind and will get last action before the flop. Avi Friedman coming out raising. I'm noticing the pattern that Avi likes to bet and P Polk likes to bet again after that first bet. <laughs> raise? He likes to raise? Yes. Phil Locke in no danger of taking yeah, it in my they, analyst they, workout. They, 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 it's saying a lot because yeah. I am terrible at it. But I also like it when you people like, bet and like then bet again. I, I'm a big fan of that. Good. And then re do bet again. Why what not? did he say? I will bet a third sure. time. Give him a shot. <laughs> Yeah. Polk and Friedman like heads up three. again. Flops king four six. Two pair for Friedman. Just one for Polk. I don't know a lot about Avi Friedman, but I know he's got a lot of money, and he's not afraid of these guys, which is why they all love him so much. Yes and no. This is a big bet from Avi, and I like it because Doug hates folding to him. Why not make it big when you this know you have the best hand? You know, you know I'm, a, I'm a curious person. Looks like Doug is also a curious person. Oh, well, we've got another Sir. serious pot developing here between these two. This one over 10,000. We're only to the flop. Here comes the turn. Four of diamonds. 8,000. Boat now for Friedman. And does not get the value he's looking uh, for. Delicious. Who are you and what have you done with Avi? But Jungle Man bet that the earth was flat for something like, you know, he was getting such good odds that he did it. He bet 300 bucks, 
at 15 oh, no, million to one or something crazy. Yeah. Remember that? Right, Do you know I that? was not there. <laughs> Do you know the story? Like if you had the seven of hearts, Doug. you were in Jungle no, no, Man no, no. bet that the Earth was flat. He took the long. Good? Good? Somebody gave him a long bet, whatever it's called. You know where he. Yeah. No, I thought the bet was that you had it. Oh, All right, so no. Casella made it 300 with King Jack. Let's try to get back into some semblance of organization here. No, 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 no. I want to hear if the Earth is flat. <laughs> You're still waiting on that? Jungle Man bet 15,000 or 15 million to one or something that the Earth was flat because he was getting such a good price. He said, I had to bet the 300 bucks. Wait, 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 sorry, I was getting... sorry. He bet that it was flat. He was going to get paid way. huge. He, he thinks it's round, but the odds they gave him were so good, he said, I couldn't resist it. He bet a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's urban folklore or true, but I heard. I thought he bet that it was not. I heard this bet, but I thought that he bet that it was round. Yes. I mean, he it's 50 50. So if you're going to get odds, profits, you got to take no, that no, side. No, he profits if it becomes flat. He actually hedged. He, know, he believes it's round, but oh my the bet God. was so good. I don't actually understand what side he has. Phil, Phil has changed three different times what side. Financially, which side did Jungle have? Financially, has one he side wins a lot has a different side. if the world is flat. But he believes the world is round. But okay, he took well, such look, a... the world is round, so we're not, we're not, right, we're not but supposed he... to think believes it's round. The world <laughs> is round, so that's the first thing. Second thing, he bet that it was flat because I talked no, to him, and no, I thought that he, he bet the... that it was oh, round. Oh, he bet that it was round. He's paying the, the 15 yes, million to one. Yes, and he loses. Oh. <laughs> you guys have got to be f***ing kidding. Okay, that That's would make bet. more sense. Hey, it, Phil, you were put to the test. Avi raising. <laughs> uh, Avi, you're all in? Yeah. No, he's not. You are. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I guess I'm not good enough. I have to call, right? I guess I call. Yeah, you have to call. Do you have a set? No. Okay, good. Do you, have you, you met Avi? Oh. Doesn't have, have a set. Avi? Yes. Do you have a set? Run it twice? Yes, once? big time twice. That okay. way I can all maybe right, win. We're going to run it twice. Boom. Here we go. Okay. Oh, oh, he does have a set now. Oh, 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 now I'm going to try and win this one. <laughs> this is the one I'm going to try and win. Take these away. This is garbage. Yikes. Give me, that. Just give me, give me two fresh new cards. <laughs> Very unlikely oh, Phil will lose, too. No, Bobby. Oh, my God. <laughs> two tens left in the deck. That's all the luck you get for your entire life. Yeah, I mean, at that point, you might as well just get a rack and walk away from the table. That might have been the worst boom of all time. <laughs> that might have actually been the nut low boom. Luck is a harsh mistress. Probabilities can't live with them, can't live without them. Am I right? Welcome back to the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Hollywood, Florida. We've already seen a Sean Deep slow roll and a ridiculous two and one outer. What's next? Let's find out. Thank you. And I had someone who was teaching me how to play poker of sorts who once said to me, honey, you come when you're oh, Wendy, and it's your big I'm line. sorry, it's excuse me. Yeah. Did you know Wendy and Aeolus is actually the <laughs> first woman to ever <laughs> cash in the World Series of Poker main wow, event? Man, some part of the brain money. just has to... She's well. also the first woman oh, to ever yeah. do it twice. <laughs> she has more money. She, she's, she's also the basis for the character Aaron yeah, Brockovich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you I what don't do buy the I third one. All in at how, this point. how insulting. I think you should. Verbal's binding. I'd start off with laughing. I'm pretty sure the basis for Aaron Brockovich was Aaron... Brockovich. Um, I'll look that up, but I think check it was. On that. Anyway, back to the poker. Did you say poker? Check. No, poker. No, I think you said poker. It could be poker. Bottom pair for poker, top pair for Schwartz, pair and a flush draw for Casella, who's betting. I have no idea. Some part of the brain. Just Some part of the brain. <laughs> What's your favorite game? Top pair, top kicker versus pair and a flush draw. It's a tale as old as time. Me too. I like Stutter. Stutter Eater Better is my really second favorite like game. It. It's, it's PLO, really, then Stutter Eater Better. I played all PLO for many, many years because I played yeah. London primarily. But um, did they do? And PLO is going to continue to yeah. jack up the size <coughs> of this pot. Yeah. And and I loved that form of poker. Yeah. Have you played Super Stud like they do here? I don't One of those situations Super where you're happy to get a fold and not yeah. too bummed to get a call just, either. It's just Stud 8 or better with two extra and, cards uh, in the fold. I have, I've, I've played Stud 8 or better without it. And, um, oh, this is the mm. best card that Frank could have caught. Mm. Puts him out in front of Jake, and it's going to be the least I mean, obvious yeah, I one. Play, I would play 1,500 Stud at the World Series. Just a Stud 8 or better. You know, yeah. Just that. Well, I played a lot of Hot Limit on the Hot. Yeah, and then, then I switched. Such a tough fold for Jake to make. You don't have to fold very much. No. <laughs> but you see what happened to someone like me is mm -hmm. 
and he does not make the fold. I was pissed. Oh, you got there, did you? Believe it or not, no. No, not by the Classic <laughs> Frank Casella. Right Arizona dad. I'm actually surprised he got it right. Just kidding, 835. I actually don't know if I was, I was right, a little but... high. I guess yeah, I could I almost say those, yeah. All right, Doug Polk's going to start. Makes it 150 with ace nine. Thanks. Locks in. The Schwartz is not with us. All right, we got some Sean Deeb in now. Four or five of hearts. And Avi Maria. A lot of respect going on. All right, five players to the flop. Flops eight, eight, nine. Nice flop for Avi Freeman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that qualifies as nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Doug's gonna take a shot with top pair. And Phil Locke's gonna take more of a shot. Raising it with no pair, no draw, queen high. And no matter what Avi does here, he's gonna look strong. He's elected to call. There's not a ton of draws out there either, so it's hard to be getting semi-bluffed here. And All Doug right, refusing to fold right. ace nine. All what is the done. turn? Wow. <laughs> so, one of the biggest draws just got there in the, the turn, the jack 10. What? However, yeah, two more huge up. draws just developed for Phil. This is just such a weird turn card. Phil went from having no pair, no draw, to having all kinds of draws. Tough part is he's not there yet. All in. I call. Lock all in. Avi snap calls. Queen high. Two times? You have full outs, right? Yeah. OK. <laughs> Zero times. You can run it. Zero to as many cards are left in the deck. It is not going Whatever, to change. Man. And you want to say, right, how are these poker players so that. good? They just are. Like, Phil Locke knew immediately what it was. Let's do it twice. You sure? I'm there. Avi wins the first one. Avi wins the second one. I was giving 500. That was a joke. You, I paid you 500 for the second you one. You really don't like when I bet small. Chuck, this hand's not about you. Let Avi have his moment. I didn't want that Frank one. Casella looks down at 510. Oh, you might be out. Had it in regard anyway. Ace King for <laughs> Avi, who continues to I mean, you've never pick up that. cards. Never... Yeah, this is your box. day, yeah, Avi. Yeah, yeah, Celebrate. Yeah, yeah. Let's, we're going to wait to the stream. Yeah. The he raises the straddle up to I'm 300. Fine. You're almost yeah. hot. If he misses with his hand, that's going to really suck for me that I lose. Like, <laughs> my live room is on. Avi, which is so bad at reading his own hand. What do we know? That a raiser called us. He raised it, yeah. If you get beat by him misreading his hand, that will be salty. <laughs> cool. That's a new level of salt. Yeah. It's like a smaller price to sign you a little discount. Doug once again trying to isolate Avi Friedman and is successful. Yeah, I just I thought, thought you were like, I'll bet yeah. without yeah. just all the information I've had so far, I'll take that he had 10 hearts for even money. I would do that. Doug's flopped a gut shot. Okay, I'll give you, he may I'll feel give you. he has to continuation bet this. And Friedman's going to be more than willing to let him do that. I believe that I thought I had it. Right, we all believe that, but I'm yeah, now up for four to one. Here that comes seven hundred. Without knowing. Small C bet. I'm the, I think you're over. On the river. When I was folding. Would well, that be a lowercase huh. C bet? That's right. <laughs> my, my offer's off the table. Because I turned open ended and I had a flush Friedman draw, calls. And I had top pair. I, I retract my offer. Doug picks up no additional outs on the turn. Friedman's still way out ahead. Is Polk going to continue to bet? Will he elect to take the free river? Nope, he's going to try to wrap Avi's hand. And if there's one thing I've learned living in Hollywood, don't try to outwrap a guy named Avi. Wow, 3,300 and a quick call from Freeman. So let's see the river. River's a 10. Ugh, that's just, ugh, delicious. Oh, Doug, how do you do it? Man. So what's the dollar amount here that Friedman's going to say yes to? Uh, to me, anything north of 6K, he probably folds. Nah. I think he calls for any amount. Really? He's going to think Doug's trying to outplay him, which Doug would be trying to do oh. often enough. 27,000. <laughs> OK. Friedman is not just losing to queen nine. He's also losing to ace queen. Doug could very well have that hand. Cool. Oh, and Friedman calls. Uh, I know it doesn't help, but Doug Polk was betting the entire time. 
No, it doesn't help. No, it doesn't help. After all we have seen tonight, we top it off with Locke shoving, turn, drawing, dead AF, followed by a Doug Polk river gut shot, and a nearly three times the pod bet getting called by a single pair. Wow, pure entertainment. Whose deck do I have to shuffle to get an American Poker Award around here? How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. Welcome back to South Florida and the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino where we are calling time out on tonight's play. Let's go to the chip counts and see where we stand. A rather swingy night on the felt aside from Jake Schwartz's modest profit of 37.25. The only other player who will be having a winner winner chicken dinner this evening is Doug Polk. Doug Poultry, maybe. <laughs> Up almost $42,000. Phil Locke is currently deepest in the well, stuck almost $20,000, followed by Avi Friedman, who kerplunked his stack to Doug in that last hand. He's now down almost $17,000. And Frank Casella, the father we all wish we had, is stuck $9,400. Make sure you tune in next time because you really never know what's going to go down here on Poker Night. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. Thanks for watching Poker Night in America. John, I heard from the crew that you might get some karmic payback because when you reach. Oh, I know my, my ass is out. Yeah. 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 There's going to be a the good green shot. <laughs> the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon. <laughs>